Hi everyone, welcome to the first video of my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing these two wrist rests. I want to turn twister is wrist rests. So basically it will be the HyperX wrist rest and the Logitech MX palm rest. So first a bit of a background. Why did I started to look at this? Because since the pandemic I started to work from home and I started very simply just with a laptop. And then I decided to, to improve my setup. And amongst other things, I bought an external uh, keyboard and mouse that you can see here. And basically, this is a very compact and simple keyboard. It's a Logitech K380. I don't know if you guys see. It's a bit old, but I really like the touch and it works for me. So that's that. As for the mouse, it's a more recent uh, model. It's the Logitech MX Master 3, 3S and it's very ergonomic mouse and it has worked but after some time after some months i've started to feel some tension here in my my, my wrists in this part of of the the wrist so the muscles and the tendons started to to feel a bit a bit achy and so i decided to go and explore in amazon looking for some options and i ended up finding these two links are down below nothing of this is sponsored uh, because I'm a nobody anyway. Uh, and yeah, so I've been swapping between these two over the last three weeks or so, and I wanted to share my thoughts. So without further ado, let's let's go, let's start it. So let's put this to the side. I'm going to start with the HyperX. Here it is. All right, so let me show you first how it looks in the Amazon website. So I hope you guys can read it. This is how it looks, so it costs 24 euros and 94 cents and it has 4.5 stars with the 8.9k reviews so it looks quite all right with no pay price so that's why i chose it so let's start with the unboxing let's look at how it looks so you can see this is very simple uh, box it says hyperx wrist rest cool gel memory foam gel a memoire de forme froide autoché <laughs> Sorry for my French, if there are any French viewers there, but my French really sucks. I'll stop trying. Uh, on the back, so this is what it says. It says cool gel memory foam, stable anti-slip grip, durable construction with anti-fray stitching, and the dimensions and the height. And so let's take it out of the box. All right, so you can see very simple packaging. Let's take it out to the side sorry about the noise so this is how it looks all right very subtle with a small detail all around so re in red i think this stitching looks quite all right then it has some branding in the front and in the back you have this anti-slip uh, surface let's call it so i put it on the desk and it doesn't slip away doesn't want to slip away and yeah this is how it looks so you can see it has more of a gamish look so if you have like a gamer setup i think this can look very well with it uh, and yeah let's see it how it looks together with the keyboard and the mouse so here they are again so first things first i forgot to say but you can see that the dimensions is for a full-size keyboard and my keyboard is a more compact one. I prefer them this way. But I was looking for something to support my wrists both while I'm on the keyboard and on the mouse. And you, this works quite uh, well, as you can see. Uh, yeah, the touch is quite soft, quite cool uh, with that gel that I mentioned. Uh, yeah, let's change the, the point of view so you guys can see how it looks uh, from the side. All right, so first, apologies for the strange point of view, but I think this is the best way for me to show you how it looks without and with the wrist support. So let's move the mouse to the side. Let me pull my sleeves up. And what I want you guys to pay special attention when I'm showing you is the angle between my forearm and my hand in my wrist, okay? And now I'm without any support here. And you can see when I type or I'm faking that I'm typing, uh, you can see that when I'm reaching for the keys with my fingers, I need to raise my fingers, all right? And it is this raising and, and, and reaching that over time, it causes the discomfort that I mentioned here in my wrist. And so let's see how it looks with the HyperX wrist support, all right? So 
here it is. All right. And right away, let me show you. You can see the thickness. Okay. It's thicker than my keyboard. So maybe this is not the best option for this specific keyboard. But if you have a mechanical keyboard or a higher keyboard, a taller keyboard, maybe this is the best option. Anyway, this is how it looks now with the support. You can see the angle. All right, it's much softer. So when I'm typing, I don't need to raise my fingers to reach for the keys. And this is much more comfortable, okay? In terms of feeling, I really like the cool uh, touch of this because of the gel. Uh, and it's very, very comfortable. Maybe a bit too high. Um, but yeah, let's see how it compares with the Logitech one. All right, so Logitech MX Palm Rest. Let let me show you guys how it looks on Amazon website like before. So let's go here. So this is the one. Once again, links down below in the description. So you can see it costs twenty euros and eighty five cents, a bit cheaper than the other one, and four point seven k reviews with four and a half stars as well. So looks quite alright as well. Okay, let's go with the unboxing. So this is how it looks. Alright. Uh, very clean, very minimal right away. On the back you have a picture, then you have some, some features. So performance for long hours, firm palm and with support, yada yada. It also has in French, but I'm not going to try to read it. Crafted in high quality materials, soft yet resilient, resilient memory foam, blah blah blah. Support where you need it, smooth and pleasant to the touch. Let's see if that is true. So let's take it out of the box. Here it is. Okay, so this is the box. Let's take it out. Sorry for the noise once again. Some paper, I'm not going to read it. And here it is. So in the back, you can see you have uh, the Logi branding. All right. It it doesn't have like the same feeling as the as the HyperX one, but still, yeah, it's not. It's non-slippy. Maybe the other one is a bit less slippy than this one, but I mean, with normal usage, it, I don't think it will slip at all. At the top, also quite soft, not as, I would say, as fresh as the other one because of the gel, and this one doesn't have that gel, but still quite all right. You can see it's not as thick as the other one. So, and this is not bad by itself. It really depends on your keyboard and how, how high it is how high it is if it's a mechanical keyboard or not and yeah the looks is definitely not a gamer look so it's much more minimal and personally i quite enjoy that a bit of a spoiler here uh yeah let's see how it looks with the keyboard and the mouse so all right here it is you can see the dimensions also they are okay they they, they offer good support both when using the keyboard and the mouse a bit of a difference that I should note. Let me get the HyperX once again. So you can see here, okay, that the HyperX is a bit longer and a bit uh, thicker in this direction. Not thicker, so longer in this direction as well. And of course, also here, here it's the thickness. So yeah, one more gamer style is you are bad boy. And this one more minimal, more clean. Yeah. So let me show you now. How this Logi one looks from the side, so you guys can see. And here we are again in this strange point of view for me to show you now how the Logitech one looks. Okay, let me get it. And actually, let me get the HyperX once again, so you can see the difference. Okay, it's a massive difference. Okay, in terms of thickness, the HyperX is much thicker than the Logitech one. So you can wonder. Maybe it doesn't offer any support at all. But I have to tell you that one side uh, rests my wrists, don't twist it again, on it, it feels very comfortable. The angle of my wrist is very comfortable, as I said, and I really enjoy it. I, it offers good support. The feel of it is not as cool as the HyperX one because it doesn't have the gel, but very, very comfortable. Guys, I have to say, this is my favorite one, okay? Very, very good. 
So everyone, that is it. As I said, there's no right choice. So what's best for me may not be the best for you. It really depends on, on your size, on your anatomy, on your uh, keyboard, how high it is, uh, how, how you think it looks, how you prefer a more minimal one or a more gamer style one. But personally for me, I think the best one is the Logitech one. This will be my, my daily driver because I really enjoy how it looks with my keyboard and my mouse. Uh, I really enjoy the support. Uh, and yes, so I would say no matter which one you choose, I really recommend you to use one because I think it's a simple and cheap addition to your desk setup that will improve your ergonomics. And since I've started using this, I don't feel as much tension uh, as before. And so, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. As I said, this was my first video, so feel free to leave some suggestions in the comments below, positive ones, negative ones, always looking forward to, to improve. And yeah, see you on the next one. Bye, guys.